everyone, welcome back. Our next guest is an alumni from the New York City famed school, LaGuardia High School, and uh, as an actress and producer, well, she decided to create Waste, a short comedic film inspired by TV sitcoms such as The Office and Parks and Recreations. The story focuses on a group of misfits that have caused havoc, and now, well, they have to do community service by cleaning a park. Joining us to tell us more, we welcome Alejandra Cantoral. Hello and welcome. Thank you, I'm so excited. We're excited to have you. Oh my goodness, this uh, sitcom or this short film that can develop into a sitcom is so appropriate during these particular times in the Bronx, you know. Yeah. So um, let's talk about uh, the film and, and, and what inspired you to create this film. Well, I signed up for a film challenge back in October 2017, and I filled out an application, and I was randomly selected to be part of six other talented actors. And basically, we only had about two to three weeks to write, produce, and shoot this um, short comedy. So we were so happy with the end product that we wanted to share it with the, with the world. And so when was this shot? In October 2017. Oh, in 2017, and now you're mobilizing it because, well, right now we have to mobilize what we do have so that we can create our own work, right? Is that where you are? Yeah, we've been uh, sharing the film. We submitted to multiple film festivals. It played last year at the official Latino Film Festival with Danny Hastings. So uh, we're just trying to get it as many views as possible. That's awesome. And so just... Share with everyone, right? Because I introduced you as this, you know, uh, LaGuardia alum. And um, while I'm sure you have been working in the field of acting, there's also this other side to it, right? Because as an actor, you're kind of at the mercy of someone hiring you. So let's just share with everyone why it's so important to just sometimes take matters into your own hands and create your own content. Yeah, it's extremely competitive. I'm constantly auditioning and getting rejected. So I have like a lot of frustration. So I, re I have to release that, that pain. And that's why I think it's important to just create your own work, meet other actors, uh, hire a crew, and then release that energy. And so when you say that frustration and pain, Let's talk about that. Yeah. Let's talk about that, especially during this particular time period, because um, the work is scarce and primarily because people can't really be around each other. Yeah, I think that, well, we filmed this back in 2017, but I think now you need some sort of outlet to make sure that you're still you get those creative juices flowing and, and especially now with so much pain that's when the best material comes about and so speaking of waste and the style in which it was shot and and the inspiration being the office and parks and recreation like one of the things that i personally enjoy about those particular styles is that the camera itself has its own personality so um the fact that you're loaning this conversation to local parks uh, and the fact that we happen to be going through this in real time, and even though you shot this in 2017, I mean, how relevant is it for you to make sure that everybody sees it and um, hopefully mobilize people to want to pitch in? Exactly. I think, I think it's always, imp I think this topic of um, environment is always going to be uh, important topic of relevance um, for the rest of our lives. And so the, the cast that you you um, brought in, I, I noticed that one of the girls had like a short skirt and yeah. she had like high heels and yeah. so forth. And so what, what kind of story are, are we really sharing with, with our, our viewers? Well, sh it's a very comedic uh, short. We, we, we're all struggling actors and I think we really wanted our own like moment to shine. So we just wanted each, we just thought it'd be really funny to have so that. So did each actor create their own character in the process? Well, we had two very talented writers on the cast, Carly and Michael, who wrote the, the script. So it was just, it, it just felt convenient. And so your your role was also not just an actor, you're also the producer, right? Yeah, I was responsible for a lot of the scheduling the meetings, booking a crew, 
uh, scouting location. So it was very stressful, but I was really, really happy to be part of it. I love being creative. You know, I love your honesty. You're like, it was very stressful. <laughs> yeah. I remember being on the train and I was texting someone and I was falling asleep while texting. You had to wear a couple of hats during this project. Exactly. Yeah, I got it. I got it. So, but the beauty is, is that somehow you've been able to produce evergreen content because look, here it is airing again on BronxNet, right? Exactly. And so what was that process like? Uh, was there uh, some kind of submission contest? I, I'm unaware of, of what uh, our, our network is uh, offering our, uh, you know, our I, potential film producers and, and struggling actors. I don't even like to use that word. That's why I, was, I became hesitant in the language. Well, I just emailed uh, Bronx Net TV. They have like an application process and then I had to upload the clip. And so it was constant emailing. For, we were emailing each other for like, the past six months and then the coronavirus happened so they stopped we stopped to uh contacting one another and i just got a random email one day and i was just so happy it was just constant emailing well i i appreciate you coming on open to share with our viewers and 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 also most importantly for your authentic self-expression um because i can feel you i can feel that you're like hey you know like we got to figure out how to make this work for us too, because um, the entertainment field is just as essential as everything else. Well, thank you. I'm so happy. And I just really hope to inspire people to create their own content. Yeah. And thank you for sharing your process. And I know you're going to be part of the comedy block and I just want to share with our viewers. Thank you, Alejandra. Uh, Waste, which is her film, is going to premiere on Monday, September 21st at 8 p.m. during BronxNet's Comedy Block, and that's on Channel 68, Optima, 2134 Files, and of course, you can live stream it at BronxNet.tv. All right, don't go anywhere, because Bobby C's Weekly Sports Roundup is coming up next.